Since catheter aortic valve replacement has really revolutionized open heart surgery and care for diseased aortic valves more so than pretty much any other technology in the last 10 or 15 years. So the major difference between open heart surgery to replace an aortic valve and a transcatheter approach is that through the chest, when we do open heart surgery, we physically remove the valve. Whereas with the transcatheter valve, we are displacing the disease valve to the side. And almost like a stent that you might get somewhere else, the valve is deployed in its place uh, in the aortic valve position. In terms of the durability of the transcatheter valve replacements, they have performed beyond expectations. Uh, and all the data that we have to date suggests it is at least as durable uh, as a traditional aortic valve replacement done surgically. Patients that are candidates for the TAVR procedure are patients with aortic stenosis, particularly our older patients that are going to have a harder time recovering from a traditional sternotomy approach and, and open heart surgery. But as we've learned more about the TAVR procedure, it's being used for younger and more fit patients because we're, we're getting really good results, quicker recovery. They seem to do as well, if not better, than our standard sternotomy approach to aortic valve replacement. One important group of individuals that we see frequently are individuals that have bicuspid aortic valves. That affects about 2% of the population. Though many of these patients could be candidates for transcatheteric valve replacement, they do have some special considerations that we think about, and they really need to have special multidisciplinary evaluations to find out which technology is best suited for them. There are a few places where we might perform a transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Over 80% of these procedures are done through the groin vessels, so a small one centimeter incision in the groin, very quick to recover from. Patients are up and out of bed that day, oftentimes leaving the hospital within a day or two. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement has come on the scene in the last 10 to 15 years and it's really revolutionized how we've addressed aortic valve disease, specifically aortic stenosis. Most patients want a TAVR because the recovery is, um, is much faster. They're typically in the hospital for 48 hours. There's minimal to no pain. There's limited restrictions uh, post-procedurally and they can get back to their life on a much quicker basis and don't need rehab. Whereas surgical aortic valves um, requires an open procedure and the recovery is, you know, a couple of months and so um, patients are very intimidated by that. That's why they come to the valve clinic and we explain all of this to them and make them understand you know which is better for them whether it be surgical or transcatheter therapy.